Today I'm meeting four Saudi women to learn about life here in the kingdom. Are you happier to be working? Yes. With a long list of human rights issues in the country, I'm curious to see for myself if life is changing here for women. In 2018, women were granted the right to drive a car. If I wanted to travel, I needed a permit from my husband. The next year, they were granted the right to travel overseas without permission from a male guardian. Please, how can I become a tour guide? They said, uh, it's only for men. And most recently, women are now allowed to live alone without permission from a male guardian. I'm talking with four women today. Saudi's first female tour guide. Saudi ladies are tough ladies. <laughs> a woman working in finance. It's exciting for everyone. The chef at my hotel breakfast. A Saudi Food. And finally, a tour company startup founder. I mean, there is this minority or the older generation, they don't like what's going on. I have no bias or agenda, and politics aside, I'm just curious to hear firsthand from the people on the ground. It's also worth mentioning that the four women in this video represent a progressive side of Saudi, whom are not just willing, but excited to talk to me. And this short video can't represent the entire situation and complexity for all women here. I did not uh, uh, plan to become a tour guide. I was in the Ministry of Education. I was a supervisor. Then I wanted to register, to help in the registration of this area and the UNESCO. So I started to tell people, come see it, it's a nice place. And th that was the starting. And they said, people, why don't you become a tour guide? You like to tell stories. I said, yeah, okay, I'll try. Then I asked, uh, please, how can I become a tour guide? They said, uh, it's only for men. I don't take a no for an answer. I said, no, it will be for women. <laughs> and so it, there was not a written law not to let people, uh, not to let women to become tour guide. But um, even men at the beginning, they didn't understand why do I want to do it. But I like to meet people, to talk to them, to show them our beautiful city. And here we go. Now, at, in our vision 2030, tourism is the most important thing. Is to have more tourists. Yes. And you yes. need female tourists. What about your family, your husband? Were they supportive? Yes, yes. <laughs> and my you children, said, even, they help me. Saudi ladies are tough ladies. <laughs> There's a big push, Vision 3030. Yes, yes. The government is investing a lot to encourage people to come. True. Do you think it, it, it will work? Yes. Already in uh, 2019, we had more than a million tourists. So what about now, after Corona, uh, where uh, uh, the vision says that by 2030 we will have hundreds of million of mm. tourists. Sorry. And are you educating other females or any yes. females too, just in terms of Yes, yes. I'm a trainer guide. with the WFTGA, World Federation of Tourist Guide uh, Association. I train them to be tour guides and I'm really proud of them. And do you have daughters or just Yes, daughters? yes, I have two daughters. So how does it feel to know that, you know, they're going to have, they have so many uh, opportunities yes. than your mother? Or? What my dreams were are reality for my daughters. It's exciting for everyone. Uh, a lot of people are opting to, to move to Saudi now with all the changes happening. The most major change we could say is the driving the, a couple of years ago. Uh, a lot of changes happened, uh, regulatory changes. Uh, enabled us to have uh, more control or basic yeah take control and and travel easily freely make our own decisions rent our and buy our own houses did you expect this to happen or it caught you by surprise i mean we were all we were hoping for it since we were kids but yeah it took some time but eventually it's here this is cool uh, saudi traditional food with the smoke Mm. I've had it in Lebanon too. Is yes. it similar? It's enough, different little bit for uh, ingredients. Where are you from? From Jeddah. Oh, cool. So you've only been working for a few years, right? Yeah, yeah. I work in Asila Hotel five years. Oh, yeah. but I thought women weren't working before. Not yeah, before not. But this is three years now. It's Oh. All ladies, they work everywhere. Oh wow! Jeddah. Are you happier to be working? Yes, of course. Yeah. Working. <laughs> driving car. Also. Nice, yeah. This is all things new. Yeah. Everybody like it. Five years ago they said women can work yes. in, in restaurants. Yes. Right? So some families didn't uh, like to ladies work mm -hmm. with the 
men, gentlemen. The hotels before, no, no ladies working. Now in, in the hotel, in the uh, supermarket, they can work in everywhere. We have catering business for, for home. We make a buffet, full buffet. Yeah, and then I work and also I teach the kids from 8 to 40. Uh, teach them to cook in home. That, this is before opening the for ladies to work yeah. outside. Uh, so you can only work from your house. From house. For our culture, the people they can see. This is my dream to our food, Saudi food, in, everywhere in the world. In the hotels. Because every, t every hotel outside in like London, like uh, America, there is no Arabic food. This is my wish, really. In, I put my, in every hotel in Arabic menu for uh, dishes. If I wanted to travel, I needed a permit for my husband. Like he needs to sign a paper that I allow my wife. Because this concept does not exist. Because they feel overprotective. Here the society is very overprotective. Especially the parents, the husband, the men in general. Now you don't need a permit. You can just travel wherever you want. Uh, over the age of 21, I guess. Like, I don't like, to be honest, the image that we used to have about Saudi all over the media for years and years and years when it comes to terrorism and all of that because all that feedback or, the, or riding camels, how come you're not wearing that ninja thingy? How come, uh, do, you ha do you still ride camels? Do you have oil in your backyard? These are like the very typical question, uh, typical question you get when you travel around. So it was kind of my mission as an ambassador of my country to spread that awareness uh, as a traveler, like for the last 15 years, uh, to change that perspective, to show them like uh, you can see the shock on their faces when they when I say I'm I'm from Saudi. Mm -hmm. and they're like, yeah, yeah. Yes, and sometimes then I go like like I'm from Saudi and I come in peace, <laughs> and they just laugh. We were not selling any tours for one year. And then in 2018, we started this first trip. It was it was really scary for me. I had to wait for the group in Zanzibar, and I was at the airport waiting for everyone, and I'm very anxious. And it was all females, Saudi females? No, no, we had a mixed group. Uh, and then later on... But all Saudi, Saudi nationals. All Saudis, yes. Uh, but we got... we Couples, recently, like any single no, females no, no, on this single, trip? Mainly they were female. We have like 80% of our travelers are females. Okay. Um, most of them, they want to travel solo, but not solo. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, they want yeah. that group. Yes, I want to go alone, but with people that... Exactly. Yeah, but not my friend. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I want to go do whatever I want, but I want to feel like I have someone who's taking care of me. Yes, exactly. And what, what made it amazing to me that every trip when I come back, I get this amazing feedback from them. And then they started traveling on their own. So I was like, yes, this is the window for them to open that door, these places to discover on their own. So the first step is with us. The second step, go ahead and discover the world. You can do it now. So this was like, this is exactly what I wanted. It's, it's, it's not easy to be honest at the beginning, but uh, it's, here in Saudi, it, 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 became, it became very helpful having the government having your back, even when you're facing the society. Not everyone is accepting what's going on. Not everyone is really happy. There is this minority or the older generation. Who want conservative values. Exactly. They still hold on to these values and uh, these uh, like standards, and they don't like what's going on. But the majority, like 70% of, of Saudi, are um, the younger generation between 30 and 35. So basically, we've been waiting for these opportunities for so long. Um, and then when MBS came, he's just like us. He's a, this young prince who's one who wants to open everything, concerts, <coughs> festivals, cinemas, ladies can drive. He wanted this. So having that on your back, you can face the society and face whoever is against that.